what's up everybody in this video I'm going to go through my in body body composition analysis um, to reveal my body fat percentage from a couple of years ago and some other cool stuff as well as my um, blood test results from a couple of years ago after being vegan for a year or two I'm going to start with the in body body composition analysis so basically um, in body is correlated to be 98.4% as accurate as DEXA I'm going to start with the in body body composition analysis so basically um, in body is correlated to be 98.4% as accurate as DEXA, uh, which is the dual energy x ray absorb absorptiometry. <laughs> anyway, the DEXA scan across the broad spectrum. So it's supposed to be roughly as accurate as that. Um, there's a little bit more info there that I won't go into. Alright, let's have a look at it. So. What it revealed for me at the time in 2015 was that I had 48 uh, litres of body water, which was within the normal range. It was actually um, high on the range because of the, the, the expected range is 41 to 51. And I was at 41, uh, 48, sorry. So that was good. Uh, my soft lean mass was 61 kilograms. My height at the time was 184 centimeters. I was 23 years old, and my soft lean mass was um, yeah 61, 61.8 kilograms. My fat-free mass 65.4 kilograms, um, and my total weight at the time was 70 kilograms. So I was quite light at at, at that point in time. Um, so I had about. <laughs> less than less than five kilograms of total fat at the time um, for a body weight of excuse me for a body weight of seventy kilos. My fat, my muscle fat analysis was um, deemed to be in the normal range, and I mean this was a sort of body mass index calculate calculation sort of thing. Uh, my skeletal muscle mass at the time was thirty seven point one kilograms. And body fat mass, 4.7 kilograms of body fat. Um, my my percentage body fat at the time was 6.7. There we are, 6.7 percent body fat. Um, my segmental lean analysis for my right arm. Uh, let's have a look at this. We won't go too much into this. I'll just say that my my right arm was um, had more muscle mass, and um, my right and left leg were pretty well even. Uh, so yeah, six point seven percent body fat at seventy kilos. My my visceral fat level was the lowest they'd ever seen. They said it was um, level 1 out of 10. No, sorry. Uh, well, it said level 1 for visceral fat level. Uh, 10 was sort of medium, and I'm guessing something like 20 was high. Um, okay, so yeah, that was super low, which is interesting. Uh, research parameters. Um, anything interesting here? Basal metabolic rate. Is apparently 1,783 calories, so that would be 1,783 calories um, being being burnt just by my basal me metabolic rate. And bone mineral content was 3.64 kilograms, which is slightly uh, well, it's it's right in the middle of the the range of 3.20 to 3.91. Body cell mass was. Um, in the normal sort of range as well. Arm circumference at the time 31 centimeters and arm muscle circumference about 30 centimeters. 
All right, well, that's it for the body composition analysis. 6.7% um, body fat and 1%, well, one level 1 visceral fat was the uh, upshot of that with um, 70 kilos of body weight at 184 centimeters. So it'll be interesting to see how that's changed now. Okay, so basically my... Um, blood test revealed that um, I just needed to lower my salt, my sodium intake for my blood pressure, and I did that, and my blood pressure was way better over time. Um, but at the time, um, it also gave me some insight into cholesterol. And after being vegan for about a year and a half only, my cholesterol was already um, had already come down quite a bit from what it would have been before, and my LDL, which is uh, bad cholesterol, was 1.4, um, and low risk is considered anything below 3. So 1.4 is um, pretty low to my knowledge, and uh, obviously risk of coronary heart disease was extremely low based on um, based on my cholesterol readings from this test. My triglyceride levels in a fasting state were also 0.7, anything below 2, um, anything below 2 was good, considered good. Okay, so um, there you go. It's it's not a heap of information in terms of the blood test, but basically just shows um, that I would have had a pretty good cholesterol before I was vegan, and after going vegan, it just got better and better. So if um, if you're wondering... Um, if a vegan diet can be healthy and those sorts of things, just remember there's no cholesterol in plant foods and there's an extremely low amount of saturated fat, which is important for cholesterol levels too, in plant foods. So um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be testing my body fat percentage shortly. I'm going to be living in London next year and I want to get it checked out before I go and see what the difference is. And I'll be posting some physique updates comparing three years ago to today with some body fat percentage statistics to compare. So that's it. Um, keep making those vegan gains. If you're not already vegan, consider it. It is great for the planet, for your health and for the animals and you can still make those vegan gains.